I'm Dr. Wolf. I'm a forensic pathologist, and I wasn't going to comment on this case uh, because every time I've made a video on this case, it disappears. But I felt the need to comment because of some of the things I've been reading online about skeletonized remains. So what I'm specifically talking about is that I've seen a number of people say that a body could not be skeletonized in that amount of time, and that's simply incorrect. So in my career as a forensic pathologist, I have seen many, many decomposed bodies and skeletonized remains, and I happen to know a little bit about this. So in my training, I have dealt with many bodies that have been uh, decomposed or skeletonized, and there are many factors that go into that process of decomposition. You can't just Google how long does it take for a body to decompose and get a correct answer because there are so many variables. So this would include temperature. If the temperature is warm, decomposition will progress more rapidly. If there are many animals or insects, decomposition will uh, progress more rapidly. If there is a humid environment, a very wet environment, decomposition will progress rapidly. But how rapid can this happen? Well, let's turn our attention to the actual Bible on this subject. All right, this is my copy of Medical Legal Investigation of Death by Werner Spitz. This is considered the Bible of Forensic Pathology. Everyone who becomes a forensic pathologist or medical examiner learns from this book. And so let's open it up and we go to the chapter, Time of Death and Changes After Death, Anatomical Considerations. So although skeletonization can take months, let's go to this paragraph. Under most favorable conditions, particularly with necrophagous insect activity, this means insects that eat dead flesh, skeletonization may occur even earlier. Stewart reports the case of a 13-year-old Mississippi girl, victim of a homicide whose body became almost completely skeletonized within 10 days during the late summer. So the conditions in which Laundrie's body was found would be similar to this description of the one in Mississippi, and that is fairly warm climate, lots of bugs, um, water, lots of uh, animal activity, and sunlight makes it all worse. So it's possible and maybe even expected that the body would be skeletonized within a few days, especially when you consider animals like birds and gators and turtles and things like that that will nibble away at flesh. Body identification by forensic odontologists or dental records is uh, very reliable, especially if he had any kind of dental work. So I know there are a lot of conspiracy theories coming up on this case, but from a forensic pathologist's perspective, um, these results are as expected. 